Um, but uh, did come out the way you she wanted. She didn't it. suck. No, she didn't suck though. Um, um, you know, I don't remember anybody. I can't think who's. I can't think right now that this guy, this guy sucked. You know, Campbell was was hard to motivate. He was kind of a, a narrator type guy who isn't used to doing. Um, yeah, ironically, he was a narrator in a Diablo one for PC, if I remember correctly. Yeah, good voice though. It's oh really yeah. Good voice. Um, but uh, you know who was great? I mean, um, what's his name? Cam was it? Cam Clark. Yeah, Cam was, was certainly very good. And, Cam and, uh, Clark, yeah. Um, Everybody loves Cam Clark as Liquid. I he's done yeah. everything from Ninja Turtles to Akira. Yeah, he's really evolved in the voice acting. I mean, no, honestly, the, the hardest ones to work with was, was, was to be honest with you, uh, uh, Scott Dolph. You know that about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's no doubt. And he, he has like little and he, bits I, in the game. And I didn't even stuff. really work with him. He was, like I said, he was, he was essentially just sleeping on the couch and eating In-N-Out burgers the whole time. <laughs> Is that is that recall? If I understand right, he doesn't work with the, the coach of a team anymore, though. He's well, he's a, he's a, he's pretty much universally detested. From what I mean, he ra he really raises people's hackles. This guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does a uh, like. And 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 you know it, you know about his rap career? I guess he he fancies himself as something of a. Oh, oh, are you shit. serious? Oh, you don't know about this? <laughs> oh, you guys should dig up some dirt on this. I really haven't looked deeply into it, but I know that there's some. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what yep. was it again? <laughs> I know he's a rapper. He did DDR. But it, 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 it can't be a, it can't be completely a coincidence that Kojima named a character Dolph, who's this gay gen what a gay general or something. In yeah. Yeah, and then got killed off. Yeah, I mean, what's with that? Is that Kojima not not being? Passive aggressive? Or? He did the same thing with Johnny. Did he? Uh, Hideki Sasaki. Oh, Sasaki, right. <laughs> right, so he hasn't done that to me yet. But, you know, the thing is, um, you know, he 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 likes having uh, Power, right? a, 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 for, a foreigner right-hand man. Mm. You know, you know and I think there's somebody who... Oh, didn't uh, Konami just hire someone who... Ryan Payton. Uh, yeah, yeah, hire from... Uh, from uh, you were just talking about them. Editor. Uh, he was a, Atlas, a freelance no? writer and stuff like was that. Was he not from Atlas or something? Uh, he worked for uh, an Xbox magazine. Uh, uh. Uh, they hired someone from Atlas, though, actually. I yeah, they hired, a, they hired a translator from Atlas, I believe. Yeah, he, he worked on Contact. Contact yeah. had an oh. excellent script. But, uh, you you know him, good. Ryan. You know him. He's like Konami freak or whatever on OneUp.com. That Konami guy. Oh this yeah, is... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you know that guy. Yeah, so that's I... who I. That's who I was 15 years ago. I thought he still worked at Atlas. Yeah. No, he moved a little bit. Ago. He said he moved because moving into Konami, he'd get more hands-on with development. That guy loves video games. He's crazy about them. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, real cool. But I mean, like Scott Dolph. He just. It doesn't sound like he's, you know, really into this. You know, what's a good word for it? He does yeah, voice he, work too. I know that, but he only does like little bits, like you know. In Metal Gear, he did. Some any, anybody could do voice work. Any, to be honest with you, anybody could do voice work, especially in Japan. You know. Oh yeah, we figure that from. You, uh, you know, my uh, my my oldest brother is a voiceover actor. Isn't your sister a voiceover actor too? Yeah, my sister is actually my my. He's a transsexual. So it's my brother actually. Oh, my bad. Yeah, no, it's all right. It, you know what? You know. Yeah, and uh, Maddie, I think it's Maddie Blaustein. Yeah, right? Maddie Blaustein. Yeah. She does a lot of po she does a lot of Pokemon work, right? Uh, what was it? She did a she voiced the pirate in the opening of the uh, Pokemon movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's great, you know. Um... Speaking on translation, going back to Snatcher again. Uh, to this day, don't you? All right, well, who who controlled the censorship on Snatcher? Like Sega said, you can't do this, you can't do that, or. No, you know, the communications were never anywhere near good enough to have enabled Sega to give us direct feedback about mm. what was going to be allowable. So, yeah. I mean, I it do really find amounted, the Katrina a bit weird. We couldn't even, I mean, you know, up until the time, you know, when I was working at Konami, you know, there, was, there, there were no, we didn't know what 
Sony or Sega or whatever were going to object to exactly. We knew certain things would, they would definitely object to, but uh, with regards to language, did we know that damn would catch trouble or hell? No, we just kind of, there were some people that were more careful than others because if you got taken out of the queue, it was really bad, you know? Mm -hmm. The acceptance queue, you know? So some people were more worried about it than others, some teams, you know? Um, and some writers were more careful. So, no, we didn't know. The simple answer is we didn't know. But we knew, for example, that a 14-year-old girl having yeah. sex with an adult wasn't going to work. You know, so we had, uh, we had to change that. But uh, there were definitely things that we weren't sure about. Was a decapitated head going to cause trouble? Um, I might have written a letter or two to Sega saying, asking for some advice, but things were not organized enough to have it have have it, have it done that, that well. So I don't we even remember. Uh, um, didn't Sega had like their own ratings board for Snatcher? I mean, not Snatcher, Sega, right? Had their own little ratings board for their games? Like, Yeah, if I recall correctly, they all had their own, you know, uh, yeah. they, all, they all had their own review procedure. Yeah. All the companies did that. And then uh, like Snatcher didn't get like a mature rating. It got like a 13 rating, a teenager rating. Right. That, that, yeah, that, right. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I mean, what do you... When you were writing it, what do you think Americans' reactions were going to be when they walk right into that hospital and they see all the dead bodies, the maggots coming out of their mouths or eyes, and mm. they're decapitated? I mean, mm. when you were writing it, how did you... Did you yeah. There's a lot of horror for people who were playing, you know, like Mario. There's no blood in those games. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, you know, you're, you're right. I mean, people, looking back now, might not appreciate the full impact that that game had on us that had come from nothing but you know, Mario and stuff like that. Like I said, when I first played the game, I was I was so blown away, but what really left the impression with me was the fact that you could have characters um, that you felt like you knew. You know, that blew me away. I mean, I, I walked away from the game and I spent time away from the game thinking about characters from a game. That had certainly never happened before. I never even imagined it could happen. So. That's what really, you know, amazed me was the emotional set the value. Content. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the emotional connection he was able to achieve, which is, um, it's ironic because actually, you know, so much of Kojima's work actually works in the in the opposite direction. You know, he's so obsessed with visuals. You know, yeah, well, I mean, I could go on, I could go for hours and hours about my issues about visuals versus. Um, you know, people's uh, you know, ideas about uh, you know, games like, you know, this guy, Mal you know, Molyneux, I think it was, who said, um, Peter Molyneux, you know, he said uh, the best games, you know, happen in people's heads. And so I think there's this conflict between uh, creating really graphic, lifelike um, representations um, that work against games existing in people's heads. I think I think people get more psychologically into a game if it's only representat representative, you know. Better to have a better to have an 8 pixel dragon, you know, where you're imposing your own image of a dragon in your mind onto a yeah. an abstract reality rather than to have a, a photorealistic dragon that you essentially ignore because you're, you know, trying to dodge fireballs or whatever. I mean, it just yeah. sets it kind of it's not about the graphics, it's about the imagination of the player. I think the... so. I think so. And so Snatcher hit me on a gut level, but it, you know, his concept of gameplay sucks. Um, Snatcher gameplay? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I you know? agree with you, Ryan. But, you I know? mean, I, I say the same thing to Ryan. There's no yeah, gameplay no. in Snatcher. Kojima has no concept of gameplay at all. Look at Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, Metal Gear... I one mini game... Uh, one I, mini I'd argue that, but... I'll, I'll oh, come on. It. It's one mini game after another. Okay, here's a rocket launcher. Okay, we'll have a character introduce how to use a rocket launcher. Yeah, Metal Press Gear Solid happens, 1 is it's Metal Gear fucking... 2 remade. It's the same thing, just with 3D graphics and the ability to look around. I totally, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's it's no game at all. I mean, I love Metal Gear Solid, but I'm I just mean, saying... the first the first scene in Metal Gear Solid, you know, the the first scene. That's the, uh, that's that's the, uh, that's the whole thing. That that first demo scene. That's the greatest, and it's great gameplay. It's great, great gameplay. It really is. But I feel like Kojima hijacked. They should have spent the whole game working on different levels like that, you know, instead of uh, just like hold on, let me all see. this crap about you know nuclear proliferation and stuff. Did anybody want to read that?